and welcome to my channel horror mama here uh my first video of 2024 welcome to a new year i hope this year goes much better for myself much much better it has to but i hope you all have an amazing year this year um i hope you all had a safe new year i just stayed home and um no you know what i'm not embarrassed to say it i fell asleep before midnight <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, had some good food, good company earlier in the day, and then, sorry, I've got stuff on all over this table, and then, hey, watch a little bit of the uh, Nashville New Year's Bash, fell asleep with the ball drop. Oh, well. Anyway, I thought I would, um, I have some boxes on the way, they have not uh, gotten here yet, uh, but I did get uh, confirmation, shipping confirmation, so... I thought I would get something else out instead and talk about, you know, last year, tell you what, you know, my faves, maybe not my favorite pulls because this could go too long, maybe make a, um, you see how I'm doing, I am like, I've got the attention span of a moth, uh, moving stuff around and out of my way, but anyway, um, there were a lot of different companies I dealt with last year. I thought I would share some of my favorites with you and then maybe make another video of some of my favorite pulls, you know, like maybe some of my favorite autographs. Um, but I did enjoy uh, a lot of the stuff that I received last year. Um, and I have slowed down a little bit because when you first start, all of a sudden you're just, you're buying everything and all these mystery boxes and you're accumulating so much. And now I've got so many signed Funko Pops and so many autographs that, I have now pulled back a little bit. Now I'm, you know, being a little bit pickier about who I'm going for. Um, I do have one on consignment right now from SWAU and just received notice that the signing now might not pay, take, take place until March, which is fine. It's a big name. They do a lot of big names. Um, also, everybody I mentioned on here, I'm going to put all of their information below uh, from their websites to their Instagram to their Facebook. And you really should sign up for um, a lot of them on their Facebook, they uh, make a lot of announcements there all the time. That's where you have to go. Um, and some of them do Instagram too. Uh, but anyway, I would follow them on Instagram if they have one. I would follow them on uh, Facebook if they have one. And then you can check into their websites if you would like. But anyway, um, I will not be buying probably as many uh, mystery boxes this year. Like I said, I'm going to be a little bit pickier. Um, I The only subscription box that I am still signed up for now is Zobi Fright Pack. I, you know, I ditched BAM long ago last year. I didn't even finish them up to the end of the year. Uh, it's just, it was too crazy. Um, I really think they needed to, uh, maybe they have now, I don't know. I haven't been dealing with them. I saw that they come out with another box. Um, but I'm really leery now because their customer service was not good. You know, if, if you're having problems getting your um, autographs out or your signings done, you need to let everybody know. Um, I know they opened up a Discord. Well, I was not going to open up Discord. I don't want Discord. Um, I think uh, most people belong to Facebook and Instagram. That's a great place to um, let people know. Um, but anyway... Yeah, I, I was really disappointed in their customer service, so I really don't have a lot of trust in them right now. Hopefully, you all that have bought the last box that um, they've come out with, uh, I'll put it right here if I can find it again. I just, you know, I'm really leery, you know, really disappointed. So, no, I don't do BAM anymore. I stopped doing The Walking Dead because I just wasn't interested in The Walking Dead items anymore. It was mostly little items that I don't have a lot of use for. I liked the t-shirts and the hoodies, but uh, I really loved the... Um, exclusive Funko Pops they had, but they don't have those anymore. They went to bobbleheads, and bobbleheads just don't really do it for me. I mean, I do have a few, um, but, you know, so anyway, and plus I, I like to save money and put it somewhere else and, and check other things out. Uh, unfortunately, Culture Fly, which I thought was great, they stopped doing that, um, so I don't do them anymore. Um, I stopped the Ferrara box because they just... They were taking too long. Some people weren't getting their merchandise anymore. And I'm sorry if I recommended that to anybody. I would pass on Ferrara Box now because some people still, months and months and months later, have not gotten their, like, horror boxes or, or whatever. Maybe their subscription boxes work out. I don't know. But I'm not going for their subscription boxes either, you know. No. 
I, I, I don't do that. And yes, I have cheat notes here because I can't remember everything I want to say. Um, like I said, there are a few celebrities. I think um, Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon are coming in March. Uh, and if you want their autograph, um, I'll tell you what. You need to contact John Zazulo. Um, follow him on through, go through Concrypt. Um, I believe he's doing their signings and he's very trusted. Um, he's gotten autographs for me. He got the four signatures on my, four new signatures on my mask. And they turned out perfect and there was something else and I can't remember uh, what it was. But anyway, he does a great job. So I'll put all his information uh, down below. John Zazulo. Concrypt is the is his uh, Facebook. Follow him there. He makes every single announcement on there. Every announcement. Great customer service. Uh, also has um, a YouTube, and his YouTubes are fantastic. When he goes to these cons and does them, and that's called Johnny Horror. Again, just after the video, just click the description and check out all of these. Um, but yeah, I, I want to get. I would. I, I'm really seriously thinking about getting uh, Gina Davis and uh, Susan Sarandon on Thelma and Louise mini poster because I love that movie so much. But um, and God, it would be great if uh, somebody would get Jodie Foster. It, will she ever do one? I don't know. I know she's busy. I think she's in another series now. I can't remember the name of it, but I saw her in another series, a brand new series. Um, not quite sure, but. Um, Anyway, yeah, there's some other things uh, floating around in my mind that I might look at this year and see. Um, I really have, I would like to get maybe a couple of Scream autographs on a um, 11 by 17 that I pulled of Nev Campbell. I think I would like to get some more added to, you know, to that poster. So that's something else that I'm thinking about. I do have an order out right now. What, one thing that's on, um, and I did post this on my Instagram, I believe, um, a few days uh Actually, it's about a week or so ago. It's not any longer. The sale ended, but they, GalaxyCon had 50% off of all their items, all their in-stock items, not their upcoming signings or anything like that. But I did acquire a couple of items from there, and they are on their way, and I'll probably be here next week. And I'm looking forward to that. And yes, I purchased GalaxyCon before. The um, mask you see behind me of the creature from the Black Lagoon, a couple of years, I sent it to them to have signed by Rico Browning. And as many of you know, he's... A, uh, he passed, I believe, was early last year, something like that, at the age of, I believe, 93 years old. But I was blessed to be able to get his signature on that mask. Um, and no problems at all. Um, anyway, yes, they uh, right now I think, um, let me put it up here. I think right now this is still going on 20% off all of their items. So check them out. They have got a ton of stuff right now. Um, and the uh, discount goes from their pictures to figures and to Funko Pops check it out um let's see uh dark parlor i'm getting ready to place a, an order for dark parlor dark parlor is an absolute gem of a company to order from so uh the customer service like i said i base a lot of things on customer service also um please let people know you know what's going on i mean the worst thing you can do is have people order okay and then something happens that the signing can't take place or it's going to take place later and you don't let anybody know, you know, uh, you don't offer them a refund or anything like that. So, you know, Dark Parlor doesn't do that. They let you know. He does um, lives on Instagram all the time. I, I'm not sure if he does them on Facebook because I usually just catch him on, on um, uh, Instagram. So anyway, all the information below. Again, um, I'm going to order something, an item that's already signed and then they're doing a couple more signings. I'm not sure if I'll get, I know there's one extra person I want to get on this mini poster, but I'm not sure if they're, I'm going to add to it or not at the time. I, um, but you'll see. And I think, um, by the time I order that, I'm going to order that in the next day or two. Um, I think the signing takes place. Uh, I should have it back sometime in February, unless something happens with these actors. I know things can happen because of their schedules, but anyway, yes, that is what I am doing. Um, uh, that was supposed to be double-sided. Um, also, a couple of uh, new consignment companies that I dealt with last year that are very trustworthy and that I was very satisfied with are, again, John Zazulo, uh, Concrypt. Um, information below. 
absolutely trustworthy, great customer service, uh, steel memorabilia, and Bonds Convention help. Information below. Check them out. I, um, I can't remember, was it Steel or Bond? I think it was Steel that did my um, Christine car. My 118 sale and got signed by John Carpenter, but I can't remember. I can't remember everything that was signed, but that I sent. Yeah, I wish I could. And again, the um, Zobi, all their information listed below. Um, if you are wanting to buy lots of really cool items, sign up for their supporter program at uh, $6 a month. You get 20% off almost everything. Now, I say almost because it does work for like their quality control items, um, which is scratch and dent. Um, they're like extra large boxes, their mystery boxes, their daily specials and all their other, um, items, um, in their inventory, uh, autographs. Uh, I'm not sure if it works on like, they have some other stuff like little pillows. Um, kids would love it. You, you know, your pillows and, and your, they have energy drinks and things like that. So I'm not sure if it works on that, but I know it works on the autographs. It does not work on, of course, celebrity signings that are coming up or anything like that. But it, I think it worked on like, uh, certain items you might send in, you might get a little discount on. So check them out. Um, sign up for their, uh, Porter program at 20, get 20% off everything. And by the way, none of these companies are sponsoring me. None of them. I'm just letting you know how I feel and what my experience was through them. And then of course you take your own chance. I can't promise you, you'll have the same, you know, outcome. Um, but I know Zobi is, um, amazing with their customer service. You can contact them in so many different ways, you know, um, even tag, some of the admins on their Facebook page and email them and you know, you'll, you'll get an answer. You will get an answer. Um, and they are wonderful through their customer service and I love their products. So stay tuned and watch out for more of their, you know, uh, signings that they have coming up. They do a lot of conventions. Um, so anyway, yeah, they also, besides the horror, the freight pack, they have the anime and they do, I believe every month it's anime, pop culture my is my voice cracking and fright pack i'm not sure if they do anything else i'm not sure if they still do the monthly wrestling sometimes they did a heavy metal box and things like that but they do um i hear that they're coming up with some more extra large or xl mystery boxes okay they have one coming up called um massacre something massacre i'll put the picture here um i'm not sure if it includes an autograph but i know it's it's a lot of things pertain to one uh movie which i think this one is uh Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So not sure, but you're gonna have to, you know, best thing to do is just follow these people and you're gonna know, you'll be alerted all the time. Also sign up for their emails, you know, because you can be alerted. I missed out on one um, box from, I believe, was it OC Marketing that did a scratch and dent and I watched John, John Zazulo and Johnny's Horror open up his box and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. What an amazing box he got. Um, and there was only nine boxes available at that time. And, and it was, you know, they sent the email out and whoever got to him first, got to him first. So I was not lucky enough, but I think I did sign. I thought I was following them and I guess I wasn't, but anything. Anyway, OC Marketing is another um, it, um, place that does autograph and celebrity signings. They also sell a lot of merchandise. Um, is it, I don't think it's OC, was it CSR? I think that did an Aussie signing. It was either OC or CSR that has Ozzy Osbourne uh, autographs for sale right now. So, but OC Marketing, CPA, it may have been CPA Authentics. I don't know. And it may have been CSR that uh, John opened up. You know what? If I make the mistakes, I'll put it below. You know, I make mistakes. I watch too much. <laughs> I buy from too many people. So I, they kind of, it's very easy to get them mixed up. But anyway, Mintic. Is that how you pronounce his name? Not sure. Um, I got the donkey box this Black Friday and it was a great box. It was in stock items. They had so many that I finally just said, this is the one I'm gonna go for. And I was completely satisfied with that. Um, OC Marketing, again, CPA Authentics, Waldo Inc. And CSR Collectibles. Those are some more that I've purchased with last year that I was very satisfied with. Um, Again, this is kind of, you know, at your own risk, you know, um, but I can swear by uh, what, even what a lot of other people have said, um, very satisfied 
with their service so you might want to check those out too um, i'm trying to put pictures up of their you know their pictures up as we go along but again the best way to find out more information is check it out yourself and go in my description and check them all out now some uh, excuse me some people uh here are some Facebook pages that you'll want to follow and you get a lot of information. You get alerted to mystery boxes um, all the time. And they also um, hold um, like what you call garage sales and people can list all their items for sale and you could get a really good deal. So follow Mystery Box Bunker, okay, Facebook, Concrete, Bonds Convention Help, Steel Memorabilia, Zobi Community, and the Horror Collective. Um, you know, I may have missed some people message me, message below, comment below. Um, if, uh, I didn't mention you and I have purchased from you before, um, I apologize. I'm just trying to remember a lot of different things right now. And, um, it's just a lot to remember, but, um, this video has gone long enough. And what I want to do is just let you all know that I hope you have a great 2024, I'm going to do a part two. What I'm going to do is get together some of my favorite um, items that I pulled last year um, and so that you can see that. And uh, I'll let you know if I can remember where I got them from. Um, again, I am expecting a few boxes, two from Zobi and one from GalaxyCon. And I got some uh, more autographs that I'm going to be consigning. Like I said, I'm looking forward to hopefully getting Gina Davis and Susan Strandon. Thelma and Louise is such a great movie. But yeah, I'm going to try and do that. And um, anyway, thank you for listening. I know hopefully this wasn't boring for you, but I just want to let you know where y'all can check things out if you want to. Um, anyway, you take care. Make the best of 2024. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I love each and every one of you. I love interacting. I love the comments. Uh, of course, I like the likes. I love the views. Everything you want to throw at me. If you got anything you, you know, got any questions you'd like to ask me, please feel free to. Um, and I will do my best to enter them in the best way I can and give you the best review I can of any company that I've purchased from. Thank you again. You all take care. Have an amazing day and peace.